Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick tutorial video, mostly for my own notes, but uh, <laughs> because that's kind of what I do is I just make the videos so I remember how to do them myself later. But I wanted to show off how to use VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion, uh, not Fusion, Fusion's the Mac OS version, uh, the free version of VMware, whatever that is, to actually run Mac OS as an operating system on a Windows computer. It's a pain in the butt. I wanted to make this tutorial to show you guys how to do it because you actually have to physically modify a specific file in a notepad and then you can install your Mac OS or whatever. So <clears throat> I'm going to make you find the Mac OS ISO yourself because if I link to that in the description, it's seen as potential copyright and my video gets taken down. Also, you can figure out which version of VMware you want to use. I'm using Workstation Pro because I'm planning on setting up a lot of things that I actually need uh, a little bit more control over. And then, uh, you know, but you can use the free version of VMware. So first of all, you need to create a virtual machine after you install your VMware. Now, if you try to do this this way, you're gonna, it's actually gonna fail. So most people, they'll just click next, They'll try to select their Mac OS ISO. And then something you'll be missing is this Mac OS X option. It will not allow you to select that. That doesn't exist. So on GitHub, you need this, which if you're on Windows, which majority of people I'm going to guess are, you just come in here, go to your releases, download this zip file, the unlocker 3.0.5, after you're all installed, you want to go and extract that and right click run as administrator. And this will download the stuff that allows VMware workstation or VMware, whatever version you're using to run Mac OS ISOs. So you just click run as administrator. It patches VMware and allows you to run Mac OS. But once you're done with that, then you can create your new VM. So uh, why did I click here? So create VM, just go typical, installer disk, select your ISO, make sure you select which version you're using. I'm using 11. I'm probably going to have to upgrade to 12 or 13 though for what I'm going to be using this for. But for right now, for the tutorial, all I have is 11. And then you want to basically put your, say where you want your virtual machine. I'm putting it on my work SSD. As you can see, it's Mac OS EMU. So I'm just going to click... Uh, here, new folder. I'm oh, son of a bitch. Well, it's J. There we go. Next, and then select how big of you know a storage medium you basically want to prioritize for it. For Mac OS, I would recommend doing well over 100 gigs. I did 128 on the one I'm mainly going to be using. Click next, and then you want to edit your actual hardware. So I like using eight gigs when it comes to Mac. And then for processors, it depends on what CPU you have. I have an AMD Ryzen 5600X. So CPU wise, uh, how do I show the cores? I don't remember you, whatever. Um, I have six cores, 12 threads, if I remember right. So. <clears throat> I like to set this to a minimum six and then I just close it. Everything else is fine. Click finish and you're good to go. Now, if you run this straight away, you are going to have a problem. It'll tell you that the CPU has been disabled by the guest operating system. Obviously that's a problem. So you need to go to wherever you actually created your uh, little VM. So for me, I created it in temp. Um, Obviously, I didn't create it there. Uh, crap, where is it? Mac OS EMU. So you need to go to your VMX file. And what you need to do is right-click it, open it in Notepad or Notepad++, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's this block of code that you need to copy and paste into the v, uh, Mac OS 11.vmx, whatever your VMX file is. You need to paste this in here. This basically emulates a MacBook, and you can kind of control which MacBook it is, although I don't really recommend messing with this unless you know what these CPU IDs are. But there's your board ID, there's your Mac OS Pro model number, 
you basically need to tell VMware that you are emulating Mac OS. So if you do that, you can simply go in and start your VM. And this will take you straight into the installer, which is a little bit slow on the first try because you don't have the VMware guest tools installed yet. But once you get the guest tools installed after you install Mac OS, you are good to go. So I'll make sure that code is in the description down below and I'll talk to you guys later. It's so easy to go through a Mac OS install. I'm not going to cover that here because it's going to take too long. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.